Hey everyone, it's Miranda. Welcome back to my channel, Finger Guns. Why? If you're new here, hey, for the first time, why don't you subscribe and become the newest member of the Slash Squad. Stoked to do this video today because it's something that I planned on doing and talked about doing months ago, but things got in the way. I've been working on brand deals, but now I finally get to do a video that I've just wanted to do for a long time, and that is cleaning out my closet. You all seem to really like the decluttering videos I did with my makeup collection, and to be honest, it's about time I do that again because since I made those videos, the drawers are full again. But it's time that I do it with my closet. I am the person who like has a bunch of clothes on the rack and nothing to wear if that makes sense. Like either things don't fit me or they have like little holes or stains and for some reason I've kept them. So it's about time to just go through everything piece by piece and decide what I want to donate, what goes in the trash, and what I want to keep. If you've been subscribed to me you know that I've been doing a lot of clothing hauls and I have nowhere to put the clothes because I have all these old clothes that are just taking up space. So today we are going to go through all of that together and and these are videos that I've genuinely enjoyed on YouTube lately, like watching people go through their closet. So hopefully you guys like that too. So this is gonna be kind of a play it by ear video. Not really sure the format, but let's uh, just head over to my closet and I'll show you what we're working with. All right, everyone, here is my closet. So um, Adam's side is over here. <laughs> I should have made this look a little bit less crazy. And this is my side. So I've got my clothes here. I've got my luggage and then another suitcase behind this one that I don't use anymore. So I think I might use that to like package up clothes for Goodwill. Up here, I've got a few bags. And then here I have another little section of mostly t-shirts. Um, but I'd like to just kind of get more of a rhyme or reason to my sides of the closet and also obviously purge stuff that I don't wear. And then on the back of the door also, this is all my stuff as well. So I have like backpacks, hats, scarves, another bag. And this is like super bulky and it's kind of actually getting in the way of opening the closet door. So yeah, I'm, I think my plan of attack is I'm going to take everything off of the rack first and go through it and then start putting stuff back. Let's do it. This is a lot of clothes, oh my God. Okay, so I'm gonna be donating my old luggage that I don't use anymore. So this is where I'm gonna be putting the clothes that I'm gonna to give to Goodwill. All right, so the plan is putting everything I'm donating into the luggage and then throwaways are going into this black bag. Throwaways would be anything with a rip or a pretty bad stain or something that I just don't feel comfortable donating. All right, so first thing we have is this Really cute dress, obviously it's summery, so I'm not gonna be wearing it soon, but I do like this dress, it's like an off the shoulder number from my Speechless Dresses haul, so that is gonna be a keep. This is like a dressy kind of blouse, but I do see there is stains and tearing, which is unfortunate, I really like this shirt. Man, okay, so this is gonna be a throwaway. Okay, um, this turtleneck I literally just got, so that's gonna be a keep. This blue flannel type shirt I also just purchased. So all of these are like brand new. This black collar blouse I also just purchased. It still has the tag on it, so keep. This is a really cute like transitional fall dress because it's made out of like sweater material, but again, it's a dress, it's short sleeve, which is really nice for Vegas. So this will be a keep as well. Not doing too hot, but obviously like all the stuff that I wear more often is like at the front of my closet. This is kind of like a formal kind of daytime party dress or nighttime dress. I've worn this once out to an Urban Decay event and I love it. So I'm gonna keep that. This is another really nice party dress for spring. I'll keep that. Okay, this is definitely a throwaway. I've gotten so much use out of this shirt, but it does have some pulls now, like some fabric pulls, but this was a cute shirt. I got it like TJ Maxx. But yeah, that's ripped, so toss. Oh my gosh, I've gotten a lot of use out of this dress, but I still wear it like every summer, so I think this will be a keep. Um, I got it from Kohl's. It's just a nice little off-the-shoulder purple number, so I'll keep that. This is another one I got from Kohl's, and I really like it. It's a little bit snug on me now, though. I might donate it. Um, this is really cute from Lauren Conrad. She's one of my favorite clothing designers. I think her clothes are just so cute. Uh, but the straps do fit a little bit weird, and they're not adjustable. And so I haven't been wearing it a lot. I think I wore it once this summer and it was a little bit um, torturous because it was during a barbecue that I was eating a lot and it was just super snug. So I think it's time to donate this one and it's still in pretty good shape too. So 
you know, if you shop at the local Goodwill, you'll be able to find this. This I just got this summer as well. It's one of those speechless dresses that I showed in one of my festival hauls, festival outfits. Very cute and such an easy like throw over outfit. So I'll keep that. And here's another one from the same haul, which is this cute gingham romper, another really easy summer outfit. I'll keep that as well. This romper is so cute. It's super sheer though, but I do like to use it for the beach. I brought it on my Mexico vacation and I'm probably going to bring it to Jamaica next month. So I'll keep that. Oh my gosh, this dress. Okay. I, I will admit I've held on to it like because of sentimental reasons, but also it's still in great shape. I bought this seven years ago when Adam and I like first started seeing each other. We went to the Santa Monica boardwalk and I had dressed like in leggings and boots and a sweater because it was like chilly kind of outside but then we got to the boardwalk and it was so humid I just like I, I was told him I couldn't go through the day I needed to buy something to change into so I bought this dress it was the only thing I could find it was like $70 but I was just like so uncomfortable that I bought it and I mean Luckily, $70 later, it's pretty thin material and it's held up really nicely. So not only is it sentimental, but I actually wear it a lot still, so I'll keep that. Okay, so this is a really cute Calvin Klein tank top, um, kind of dressy though. I think this is really nice for Hanukkah coming up and I could just put like a cardigan over it, so I'll keep that. This is actually a thrifted find. It's like a black collared crop top that I think is so cute for this time of year. Um, it's a little tiny bit like wide on me, it's H&M, but I think it's really cute with like high-waisted stuff now. Okay, my camera stopped recording, but I wanted to donate this shirt. My friend Sarah got it for me, but it fits just kind of a little weird and it is like totally sheer. So I'm gonna go ahead and donate that. Okay, this I actually just got with my thread up haul and I've already gotten use out of it, but I think I'll get even more use during the holidays. It's a Jessica Simpson dress. I'll keep that. This is like the one crop top I own that's really cute, so I'm gonna keep that. I think it might be time to donate this. It's just really big on me now. I got this like before I lost weight. And it was a Charlotte Russe shirt. I've gotten so much use out of it. You might have seen it in a few videos as well, but uh, it's about time. So this is something that I got with my thread up haul as well. And it was one of the things that I was kind of disappointed in because of this like long back. It's just, I haven't really had a chance to wear it quite yet. And I'm not sure when that opportunity is going to be. I might hold on to it for a little bit longer just because I just got it, but this might be a future, a future donate. This is another really good like in-between fall weather shirt kind of thing that I thrifted as well. It's from Forever 21 and it's like a sweater, like a short sleeve sweater kind of thing. So this is really nice for Vegas when it's like windy, it's a little bit chilly, but it's still like 75 degrees. All right, here's a tank top that I also got during my thread up haul. And uh, yeah, I really like this one, so I'm gonna keep that. Love this slip dress from Speechless Dresses. This is another one that I just hauled on YouTube a couple months ago, so I'll keep that as well. This one I got from Macy's, and I showed you this one in my Macy's haul, and this is gonna come in nice and handy for my Jamaica trip next month, so I'll be able to get a little bit of use out of some of these summer clothes just one more time before winter. And this one is kind of similar, so I'll keep that. Okay, this I just hauled from the Amazon what was it called? The Prime Wardrobe Haul. Um, so this was just kind of a plain white long sleeve shirt. Very basic, but I needed more basics in my collection. So I'm gonna keep that. Okay, this one is definitely a donate. It just does not fit me right anymore. This was from Kohl's. It's just like a cute little coral dress. Uh, but yeah, I bought this like probably my sophomore year of college. I had just lost a ton of weight and I was about 20 pounds smaller than I am now. So I'm gonna go ahead and donate that. I really like this next dress. I wore it to my college graduation and then I've worn it to weddings and engagement parties and such. It's from TJ Maxx, it's Cynthia Rowley. I really like the detailing on the bottom here. There's just like this cutout situation, but yeah, it's just a really, really nice um, semi-formal dress to have. So I'm gonna keep that. Here's another kind of summery shirt from Macy's this summer that I'll go ahead and bring to Jamaica. And then this is just kind of like a crochet tank that I like to pair with different skirts. I like to tuck it in, so I'll keep that as well. This is my one little black dress. I think again, this was from TJ Maxx. 
It's a really cute just black cocktail dress, but there is like a choker detail and like a keyhole for a little bit of cleavage, although I don't have any cleavage because my boobs are too far apart for that. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so this is my one little black dress, so I'll go ahead and keep that. Another Macy's Backstage shirt. I really like this type of kind of dressy button down short sleeve shirt, obviously, so keeping that. This is the dress that I wore to my bridal shower, but it's just kind of like your typical lacy white summer dress. I think that I can definitely get some more use out of this and it doesn't necessarily have to be in a bridal situation. So I'll go ahead and keep that as well. Am I doing good at detoxing? Probably not. Okay, next up is this really cute olive dress that I got at Forever 21 and I wore it once lost the belt and then there's a rip somewhere that I kept telling myself I was gonna sew and never did. So I think this is gonna be a trash. This next one's definitely a donate. Another one that I bought from Charlotte Russe that uh, I've definitely worn long enough and I haven't reached for it in a while. It's kind of like this open back type of shirt. Really nice for summer, but yeah, I've had this for about six years now. This shirt, I'm kind of on the fence about. It's a Banana Republic shirt. It's got this really interesting like floral detailing to it. It's got like texture. Um, I thrifted this, but I haven't worn it in a while. But again, this isn't necessarily a summer shirt, so maybe I'll get more use out of it in the winter time. Mm, I'm gonna keep this. Um, this shirt is from Old Navy, just a nice little blousey black top. I'm gonna keep that. Okay, so this next thing, it looks very familiar because you just saw it in my Zaffle haul, but it just does not fit me right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and donate it. I had to size up because of the sleeves, but then the opening for the neck was too wide and the waist was too wide, so I'm just gonna go ahead and donate that. All right, this tank top I've gotten a lot of use out of. Hugs and Kisses, I got this from Kohl's when I was working there. It's just a cute little um, floral tank. I think I might donate this. I actually think I went this whole summer without wearing this. It used to be one of my favorite shirts. Now I'm like not really that into like the graphic tee type vibe. So I'll just go ahead and donate it. All right, this was a new shirt from Zaffle that was one of my favorite things that I picked up. So I'll go ahead and keep that. It's just like a nice little dress shirt, polka dots. This next one I'm definitely keeping. I get so much use out of this all the time regardless of the season. It's like this interesting like black and white pattern. I really like the cowl neck aspect of it. So keeping that. And then I just got this during my Macy's backstage haul. I need to bleach it. Somehow it got stained on the straps, I think probably from makeup, but I really, really like this shirt, like the crisscross. This is another new one that I got from my uh, Amazon Prime wardrobe. It's just a nice t-shirt dress. I love, love, love t-shirt dresses. They're so easy to wear. It's from the brand Daily Ritual on Amazon. This one is gonna be a donate. I also got this from a friend. We did kind of like this neighborhood clothing swap where we all brought clothes we didn't want and we just took what we thought looked cute. And this is cute on me, but it like cuts me at a weird place in my boobs that makes me look prego because all of the rest of the fabric just kind of like billows out. So I'll go ahead and donate that. Next shirt, this is definitely a keep. It's another Cynthia Rowley for TJ Maxx. It's kind of like my favorite line at TJ Maxx, but it's just like a nice dress tank top that I like to wear in summer when I'm going to different events or just something that's a little bit more uh, dressy casual. This was a new sweater dress from Zaffle. You probably saw it in my haul. Um, again, I love t-shirt dresses. I love sweater dresses. Anything I can just pull over, really easy to wear. This is going to be a donate. It's this really cute kimono. I'm pretty sure I thrifted this as well. Um, but yeah, I just don't wear it. I don't have clothes that look good under it. I thought it would be nice to have like, you know, a kimono style overthrow for like chilly nights or whatever, but let's face it, it doesn't get chilly here in Vegas. And when it does, you need something a little more than a kimono. Okay, this is just a robe, like a bridesmaid's robe from a wedding I was in, but I do keep all of these types of robes because I take Instagram photos in them, so I'll keep that. This is one of my favorite dresses that I got in that festival dress haul. It's like this cute like bodycon rust color dress. It's so freaking cute. I wore it to Backstreet Boys and uh, I'm gonna keep it. This is um, like a pool slash beach cover up. It's just kind of like a throw over thing that's 
pretty short, but I'll keep it as well. Like again, I'm going on vacation next month. And then this is just a white summer dress. It is very bridal, although I did not get this for my wedding, uh, but it's one of my favorite summer dresses just for like parties and whatnot. So and it's got this train too. Like honestly, you could probably use this as like a casual wedding dress. Okay, this is a Victoria's Secret robe that I got from one of my bridesmaids for my wedding, so I'm going to keep that. All right, this next pile, I have a feeling there's gonna be maybe a few more donates. Um, right off the top, we have a donate. This is, a, I think I got this at TJ Maxx also. It's just like a lacy tank top, but again, I went this whole summer without wearing it, so that means that it's a donate. I think it's probably like stretched out by now also. Okay, so this is what I wore um, to my bachelorette party. And it's so, it was like the one white thing I could find in the middle of fall. And it's got like this cute little bralette built in so you don't wear anything underneath and it's completely open back. It is so cute. And then it's a romper under here. Um, so I would actually probably keep this just like for clubbing because it's just a really good clubbing outfit. I actually don't really club, but we go out sometimes. Um, this is another cute summer dress from Speechless, another lacy number that I'll go ahead and keep. These are dress pants. I showed these in my Macy's haul. That's where I got them. And uh, they're just these cute floral gray pants that are very lightweight, but still on the dressier side. So I'll go ahead and keep those. This next one is definitely a donate. I tried bringing this to Thailand. And that's when I realized that it is really short. But yeah, I put this on and we were gonna like go touring in Thailand and it barely covered anything. So I was like, well, there goes that. This is gonna be a keep. It's one of my favorite tank tops that I actually did get a lot of use out of this summer. It's got birds on it. This was also from Macy's back. Oh no, it's not. It's from Kohl's, JK. Actually, I think I thrifted this. Never mind. <laughs> this I think is gonna be a donate. It used to be a shirt that I wore a lot. It's just like this kind of bat wing gray blouse, but I just haven't worn it in a while and I feel like I don't really need to keep it if I clearly don't reach for it a lot. I don't know if I should donate or throw this away because this also used to be one of my favorite shirts. It's like a tank top thing, but you've got this train and open back, so nice for summer, um, but there are some stains in it and I just don't really wear it at all anymore. So I, you know what, I think I'm gonna go ahead and donate it because it's like the smallest, tiniest stain that someone smarter than me can probably get out. Oh my gosh, I was looking for this dress. This is actually a really nice fall dress even though it's sleeveless, but it's like a high neck and it looks really nice when you put like a jean jacket over it. And I got this at TJ Maxx. It's just like a cute little gray swing dress. So I'll keep that. Okay, this is a maxi, well actually it's not a maxi. It's kind of like a knee length skirt that I bought because when we went to Israel, I had to have clothes that um, covered my knees for the temple, but I have not worn this since Israel because it's not very cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and donate that. Now this is a maxi skirt that I do think is cute. It's like this black maxi where it's sheer at the bottom, but then there's like a slip for, you know, the butt area, so I'll keep that. This next one I think is gonna be a donate. So the story behind this dress is actually pretty funny. Um, Adam and I did this last minute trip to meet his fraternity down in Palm Springs and it was like so last minute that I didn't have any clothes. <laughs> like we just went with the clothes on our backs and we were sleeping over. And so I had just lost all this weight and one of the girls there who became one of my best friends, she was like, oh, why don't you just try on this dress and you can wear it? Cause I brought it as like an outfit option. And I was like, I'm not gonna fit into your dress. Cause I had the mindset of like being so much bigger than everyone else. And she's like, yes, you will just put it on. And I think it's like a Charlotte Russe medium or something, which blew my mind. And uh, I put it on and I'm like, it's the sisterhood of the traveling dress. I can't believe, I was so, beyond myself that I could fit into her dress. And she's like, I told you you could fit. After that, like seeing how happy I was, she's like, just keep the dress, like it's fine. And I was like, oh my God. So I kept this for a long time, but now it's like a little bit short on me. You know, it doesn't really fit around the boobs anymore. But yeah, this was like a very special dress because of that. And that's probably why I've held on to it very long, but still in good condition, but I just don't wear it a lot anymore. Okay, the next one is my Chicago Cubs jersey, which I clearly have to keep, although it's huge on me now. And it's also Ryan Therio, who's, I don't even think he's playing anymore. He got transferred to the Dodgers, and then I think he stopped playing. But, but anyway, um, I cannot throw this out because Chicago is my team. Chicago is my city. It's actually a city, Nick Crompton. Okay. <laughs> Here is another black crop top that I'll keep because I don't have very many and it's very versatile because it's black. Okay, this is definitely gonna be a donate. It's this black blazer that I got. I don't know where I 
purchase this, but it's just this really weird thin material. It doesn't really fit very well, and it just makes me look broad. So I'm gonna go ahead and donate that. I've maybe worn this like two times in my life. All right, this next shirt is gonna be a toss because it got stained by this cardigan I wore it with. So it's just this really cute kind of graphic tank. Don't look back, you're going, you're not going that way. But like the sides got stained pink from a cardigan that I that actually came with it to like wear. So I don't know, it's kind of weird. So <laughs> this next dress I wear everywhere. It's kind of like a joke between my family that I wear this to everything. I've worn this to weddings, to graduations, to funerals, to bar mitzvahs and bat mitzvahs. It's kind of like my everything semi-formal or business casual dress and that's why I had to like buy more like I got that Jessica Simpson dress um but yeah I mean I'll keep it because it's clearly very versatile I don't know how much more I can wear it too just because everyone has seen it with every occasion <laughs> this is unfortunately going to be a donate it's another little black dress but it's a little more casual um it just does not fit me very well anymore it's so cute but yeah very short and tiny and I, my goal is to not kid myself and like think that I can squeeze into it all right this is another one I think I'm gonna go go ahead and donate it was from Kohl's it's another like um dressy tank just for you know the events that are a little bit more dressy um but I just again haven't worn it in a really long time so I'll go ahead and donate that you know I'm trying to be better I feel like I kept so much of the beginning I need to like purge this one so freaking cute I don't know why I don't wear this. I feel like there might be, yeah, there's holes in it. Okay, dang it. Oh my gosh, I thought I lost this dress. Okay, so this is like the exact same dress, but in white that I wear to everything. And I legitimately thought I lost it, but apparently it was in my closet this whole time. This is also gonna be a keep because it's so nice for like businessy things. Um, okay, this next one is like this black wrap dress from Old Navy. It's just kind of like a comfy cotton one, but again, haven't worn it in forever. It's just like a standard black dress. Mm -hmm. I don't know. See, this is the struggle where it's like, I look at it and I'm like, that's cute. I want to wear that. And then I put it back in my closet and I never wear it. Okay, I think I just have to call it. It's gonna be a donate. Okay, this is a really cute um, black maxi dress that I like to wear as like, you know, an LBD, but long. So it's very versatile for different events. I'll keep that. And then this I've already gotten use out of. It's another kind of like romper style dress where you've got the shorts, but then like a train, long sleeves. This is really, really nice um, for fancy dinners. That's, we do end up doing a lot of those in Vegas because there are like a lot of great restaurants here um, where you do kind of have to be a little more dressed. We are done with one side of the bed. That wasn't too bad, but I feel like I'm keeping a little too much. So uh, this next side, let's try to let's try to toss a little more. All right, we're gonna start with this pile because pounds here is uh, taking over this pile. All right, so this is another long sleeve sweater dress that I'd really like to wear this season. So I'll go ahead and keep this one. Let's donate. I haven't worn this in a long time. I totally forgot I owned it. It's like kind of one of those open cardigans that you wear um, like a tank top underneath, but. Yeah, I haven't worn this in forever. Okay, this next cardigan is gonna be a donate because it like turns everything black. I've washed it a few times and it still turns whatever I wear it over black. So I'm <laughs> gonna toss that too, or not toss it, I'll donate it. All right, this next one is um, long sleeve active wear, which I'm actually gonna need going into this season because I'm getting to be a lot more active. It's from Madonna's line at like JCPenney or something. But yeah, I thought it was really cute, obviously with the lips. This is just like a knitted cream sweater that I think I'll keep. I mean, it, do it really doesn't get cold here until like January. It's hard to like put my mindset into like, you know, winter clothes, but I do kind of know like what my style is now versus when I purchase some of these things. Like this cheetah print, Super cute in college, not so much now, so I'll go ahead and donate that. Okay, this is like some weird slip thing that I think is supposed to go under something else, but never needed it, so I'm gonna donate that. This is such a cute sweater. It's starting to pill though. I'm gonna need to find a way to salvage it because there are some loose threads. Ugh, should I just, um, I'm gonna donate it. I'm gonna donate it. I can't like give myself projects because they never get done. I always do that where like, I'm like, oh, there's a hole here. There's like a seam ripped here. I can just fix it. And then I never do. So 
I just need to learn to let go. This is another one that I bought. It's super big on me now. I'm gonna go ahead and donate this. I bought this to meet Adam's mom in. It's like, this was my, my modest holiday long sleeve shirt, I don't know. This I love, this is a Brandy Melville, um, just kind of slouchy purple sweater, so I'll keep that. Love this too, oh my god, this is like my favorite thrifted find ever. It's this like wine red old navy dress that's three quarter sleeve and made out of this like thicker kind of sweater material. And it's very structured, like it cinches me at the waist, comes out, I absolutely love this dress. This I just got, I wanna say two years ago, it's just kind of this cute little knitted aqua sweater, I'll keep that. This one I'll toss, this is like from Forever 21, it's a very thin long sleeve from when I lived in um, LA, but it doesn't really serve too much of a purpose anymore. It's kind of like a loungy type thing, but yeah, I've worn it enough. Okay, so this is um, an interesting story because even though this looks like the most teenage hoodie ever, it's actually worth some money now because it's Pete Wentz's clothing line that he doesn't manufacture anymore. So finding things with the clandestine logo on it is actually pretty um, difficult now and rare. So I, my mom sent me this from home when she was like cleaning out all my stuff and I was like, oh my God, I still have my clandestine stuff. So this is definitely a keep because it's a collector's item. <laughs> Isn't that weird? This is my one Christmas sweater because I'm Jewish, but like it has a cat on it. So I wear it every year on Christmas. All right, this is gonna be really cute for fall. I think this is also Old Navy. Just like a gray, really thin turtleneck. I'll keep that, but I will donate the next one. This is like this really weird, like olivey brown color with a zebra on it. I got a lot of use out of it in college, but eh, not so much anymore. I'm gonna go ahead and donate this one as well because this is another one that I bought in it fit me a lot better before, but it was just like this, um, knit, like, you know, what do you call it? Cable knit sweater. Whoo! <laughs> this is a beautiful cable knit sweater, and it's a little bit long, too, so I like wearing it with, um, leggings, so I'll keep that. This one I'll donate because it is really awkward. It was also thrifted, and it might be Old Navy. Oh, no, it's Express. Oh, <laughs> fancy. Uh, but yeah, it's just a really weird fit because the sleeves go so far down on the body that like if you move it all You get like tum action and it's also really hard to put like a coat over this but the sleeves are short so Okay, this is a newer addition to my collection. I just got this at the beginning of the year It's just this cute little fuzzy statement coat. I want to keep that. This is that cardigan then that turned that tank top pink. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and donate this. I do like the scarf though. I think I'll keep the scarf. All right, this is like this um, tunic. I don't really know what this is, but a friend gave it to me and I thought that I could make it into a fashion moment and I didn't. So it's also a 2X, which is not my size. So I'm gonna go ahead and donate this. Um, obviously I have to keep my college sweatshirt. This is actually one of my favorite things to wear in the winter because it's just like so comfy and easy. Um, but yeah, go Matadors. Here's another really cute Forever 21 sweater. It's kind of starting to pill though. I really liked the um, studs on the shoulders. It's just a little bit more interesting, but it looks very worn. I probably shouldn't have put this through the dryer as much as I did. I'll go ahead and donate it. This is just a cute M sweater from Old Navy that's nice for fall. It's like thin so you can layer it, so I'll keep that. This is like the best dress I own and it's reversible sequins so you can like rub yourself and change colors. So yeah, keeping that. This is a new sweater dress that, depending on the published date of this video, you may or may not see. I have um, a haul going up with a few more um, fall additions to my wardrobe, so hopefully that one's up first and you've seen this dress. Otherwise, something has gone terribly wrong. I discovered that Kohl's makes the best t-shirts. It's called the Perfect Tee from their Juniors line. They're so soft and comfortable and cute with a really nice like v-neck. So I have like three of them in different colors. I just got them. This I'm gonna go ahead and donate. It's just like a really thin blue sweater and when it's cold enough to wear it I want something heavier and it I don't wear it at all so you know. This is also from an either upcoming or past haul, just like an active wear shirt. Active wear shirt, t-shirt. This I'm gonna donate because it started to fall apart a little bit, but like not so much that you can't wear it. Just the thread in here, like I know it's impending doom, 
but it's so cute and I just got it last year so I'm a little bummed but you know I need to be better about um, putting my clothes that aren't supposed to be in the dryer in the dryer because I get lazy and that's how clothes get ruined I think it's time to retire this I got it in high school it's very cute it's from Kohl's but uh, yeah I'm just like over sheer clothing like I don't want to have to wear something under my clothes so that my lady bits don't show I think we might need to get a bag a new bag for donations because here's where we're at so far so that's the donation pile and I'm probably not going to be able to zip this up if I add anything more so I'm going to go get like another trash bag but like in a different color so that way I know what's trash and what is donations. Okay, we're almost done with all the hanging stuff. All right, this shirt um, I only just got. It's this cute little like cold shoulder raglan top. I'll keep that. This was from my thread up haul. This is usually in a bow, which I thought that it was like a sewn in bow, but it's one that you actually have to tie yourself, which kind of sucks. I'm just like, I wore it once and I was like not feeling it. So I think I might just donate this. This is one of my favorite fall tops to wear. I just love the colors. It's like a fall floral shirt, uh, three quarter sleeve from Kohl's. Um, this is another one of those t-shirt dresses that I was telling y'all about. And then here's my other clandestine industries collectible Pete Wentz shirt. Just wore this to the Fall Out Boy show here in Vegas a couple weeks ago. All right, last pile. All right, let's start strong. So this shirt is actually sentimental. Um, 2016 campaign shirt that Pop Sugar made, and I still have my I Voted sticker on here. I have not washed it since then. Um, yeah, I just kind of like felt like there was weird juju in this because of who ended up being president, who is not who I voted for. Yeah, but either way, I can't really like reuse this because it has the year on it. I have not worn it in two years out of sadness, so I think I'll go ahead and donate it. This is a shirt that like I designed. I thought that I was gonna have like merch, but I'm not famous enough for that yet. So it says everybody's beautiful, but like everybody, like body, to be body positive. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and donate it though. This is a cute little like shrug, but it's kind of big on me now. I wore it a lot in high school actually over different tank tops and stuff, but I will donate this now. A chambray shirt definitely keeping because I wear it a lot during fall, but also I'm gonna wear it for Halloween because I'm gonna be a cowgirl. Okay, I have a ton of these camis and mostly none of them fit me. I really do need new camis. So I'm just gonna go through really quick and donate the ones that I know are not fitting me right because they're so old. So just like a heads up, nude camis come in really handy if you have um, sheer shirts because if you wear white underneath, you'll be able to see the outline of like the neck really easily. But when you wear nude underneath, um, it doesn't really show. So whatever nude means to you in terms of like what's close to your skin tone, I highly suggest keeping a few camis like that around because they come in really handy with all of this sheer clothing that fashion designers are manufacturing nowadays. And also um, like sweaters. I have a few cable knit sweaters that are kind of like there are holes in them that you could definitely see through. So I wear something like that underneath as well. Um, what is this? Oh, this was my bachelorette party shirt. Um, this was an extra that got made and it's a little small for me, but I'm keeping it because, come on, come on. And then this was the shirt that I wore for my bachelorette party, getting loser, I'm getting married because Mean Girls references for the win. Um, I might, I know it's not like I'm gonna wear it again because I'm, I'm already married, so. I'll donate it, okay? Calm down. I'll just keep the bachelorette one. Cause I can I can wear you can't sip with us like anytime. I can't wear I'm getting married again. Here's a white t-shirt that has a couple different stains on it. I'll toss that. One of my favorite shirts, you had me at Merlot, it says on the front. Very bacheloresque. Bachelorette-esque. This is my one Golden Knights tank that I wear for games. This is one of the new um, like tunic long sleeves that I got at my Amazon Basics haul. This is an active wear shirt. My Cubs t-shirt, of course we're keeping that. This I got in Ireland, I think it's hilarious. A woman needs a man like a fish needs a bicycle. This is um, a beach cover up, but it really does not fit me right, so I'm gonna go ahead and actually donate that even though 
You know, I've been talking about vacation this whole time. This is a beach cover-up I got on Amazon recently, and you can see it in my Amazon swim haul. I'll keep that. Love this shirt from TJ Maxx. It's just like a blush pink, lacy, short sleeve. Here's a tank top I got for my thread-up haul, keeping that. Most of this stuff I feel like might be a keep after this. Um, this is a really nice old navy, like, hunter green tank top. Looks really nice with cardigan over it. Um, so I'm going to keep that. This I bought on Amazon for the uh, Mexico vacation. It's so cute. Look at that. This is an active wear shirt. This one I'm going to go ahead and donate. I really like it, but it just doesn't fit me very much anymore. It's from Cotton On, but I thrifted it. And it's a really neat like rose gold. I like it. It just doesn't fit me right. And I haven't really been wearing it a lot. And then last but not least is um, one of my white tees that I just got. Wow. Okay. Let me show you this pile of hangers because it actually makes me a little bit prouder of what we detoxed. So these hangers represent everything that we were able to purge. So that makes me pretty happy. We got rid of a good amount of stuff. So now it's just a matter of putting things back in the closet. And I think I wanna do what's on top of the shelves and what's behind the door. So I started putting stuff back in between takes. So I think I want to do this really quick and then what's behind here. Okay, so what was on top of the um, clothing racks? I'm gonna go ahead and donate this. It's like a wicker pom-pom clutch. It's really cute and a brand sent this to me with their PR over summer, but um, I don't know. I just really don't see a big use for this, so I'm just gonna go ahead and donate it. And then I do have this really huge like tote purse that's cute. It's from a brand called 88 Handbags and it's like vegan leather and whatnot. And it's actually a pretty good like spacious bag, but it's just kind of been hanging out for a couple years now of me not using this. In fact, I think this was in my video where I did what's in my handbag like two years ago or something. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and, and uh, donate it because I just really don't have a use for it. And then what was on the back of the door, I'm going to be donating this small bag. It's cute. It's like a little evening bag. Um, I just have like a newer one that I like to use. And then I have these two scarves that are um, just kind of old and dingy. So I know it might not look a hell of a lot different, but I am feeling a lot better about this. This does look neater up here. And uh, this is just generally less stuffed as it used to be. And plus we were able to bring um, clothes that I had hanging in my guest bedroom closet into here. So now all my clothes are here and I don't have to worry about going back and forth. Um, up here, kind of my semblance of organization here was I have like sweaters, dresses, and dress shirts down here, kind of my main area. And then up here I have tank tops, active wear, and t-shirts. So that's kind of my organization style right now. That may change in the future, but the goal of this video was just to go through and really get rid of stuff that I didn't want, and I think we achieved that. And then here's the back of the door. It looks a little bit uh, better, and it's opening farther, so, and we also got rid of that suitcase, too, so. so. That was my closet declutter. I feel so much better, even though it didn't go from, like, a huge amount to less of an amount. I feel like it's a lot neater, and the clothes that I kept are clothes that I actually wear or plan on wearing this season. I got rid of the stuff that I've been hanging on to just for absolutely no reason. Also, I think my biggest accomplishment was I brought in a lot of clothes from my guest bedroom, which I didn't really show you. I brought in clothes from my guest bedroom closet and put them on the bed as well to go through. And I was able to fit everything back into just my master closet. So I don't have to be like, is this in this closet? Is this in that closet? Now what I did not declutter yet is my drawers. So if you want to see that in a video, let me know if this is something that you want me to continue or if you want another makeup declutter, let me know that as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this decluttering video. If you did, don't forget to hit thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe, join the Slashed Squad. I hope to see you in my next video. If you've done both those things, high five, but have you hit the bell icon so you know every time a new video goes live? If you don't, then YouTube decides what's on your subscription page and not you. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.